pre-season preparations continue this week with two matches for the Ospreys. Tuesday night they're at the Knoll for the Premier 4x4 Ospreys Challenge against Aberavon, Bridgend, Neath and Swansea. And on Thursday night they're in the City of London at the HAC ground against Saracens. Join us now as we look ahead to those games with Steve Tandy, Jeff Hassler and Lloyd Piers. Lloyd, it's a few days since Friday night's defeat against Worcester. What's the view uh, when you've had a chance to look back at it? Um, there's a lot of positives to take out of uh, what wasn't the result we wanted to start with, but we've got, uh, we always said we were building towards the season and that's what we are looking forward to now. I think it's important not to get too downbeat about a loss in pre-season. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, there's a lot of young boys pulling the first uh, shirt on, so uh, it's important for us to just keep building for the start of the season. And for you, as a welcome return to action as well. How do you enjoy it? Uh, I love putting the jersey back on, love being back on the field, and it's definitely the thing you miss when you're injured. It's not, uh, it's not uh, easy watching the boys do it all the time, and you just want to be part of it. So for this season, a target for you is to stay fit and get plenty of game time under your belt? Yeah, definitely the target for this year is to uh, stay fit and hopefully play as much as I can. Moving forward, there's a game on Tuesday night, a uh, regional challenge, four clubs against the Ospreys. At the Knoll, you're not involved in that, but you'll be there with the whole team. Uh, it's an interesting concept. Yeah, it's really exciting. I'd be really excited if I was a Regen player or an Ospreys player involved in uh, that. Um, so you've got all the clubs in the region managing to play against the regional team. So it's really exciting and I think the boys should be looking forward to that from uh, all ends. It's quite a challenge when you think of it. Fresh teams coming on every 20 minutes, new ways of playing, new styles, new tactics. And it's how do the boys deal with that and how do they, how do they cope? Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely different to uh, anything else that uh, boys be used to. But at the end of the day, we're full-time professionals. We've got to deal with uh, these changes all the time. So from week to week, so it just only changes. There is from uh, each half to each half this time. Frustrating even at times on Friday night in Worcester, but now you've had a chance to review it. Um, what are your thoughts? Um, yeah, no, probably people think and you, you say in around you've probably come through with the first half performance and the scoreline, you probably look at it a little bit silly. But when the more we've looked back at it, the feel probably a lot of it we further down the track than probably we were this time last year in pre season. But we felt a first half performance, we didn't get exactly what we deserved, but ultimately we weren't clinical enough. We had probably three or four, maybe five opportunities to score tries, didn't take them, which is hugely disappointing, we should have taken the game away from Worcester. And then when we concede, three sloppy tries like we did, um, interception, there's another sort of, it's out, everything was in our control, we give a cheap penalty away then, at least to a driving mall, even though we need to defend that better. Um, it's, ultimately it's not good enough, and in around the tries we conceded, but I did feel there was a lot of positives in particular, the first half, um, and then we just, didn't get a set piece quite right in the second half, but there's things we have to work on. But there's a lot of things that I was pretty pleased with. Um, a couple of the pre-season signings, uh, Dan Evans, Matt Avizi, Sam Parry, I thought uh, stood up really well. And it was great to see likes of Lloyd Piers, Dimitri, um, Renier making his debut and some guys coming back from long-term long injuries. So that there was pluses within sort of a real poor scoreboard. In any game, be it a pre-season friendly or a cup final, if you're making basic errors as happened with the three tries, you're going to get punished for it, whoever the opposition are. Yeah, definitely. And it's, look, it is, it is about learning. Sam's a young man and interception, like, I'd rather do with that then against Treviso, but it's something you learn from. And to gain experience, you have to make mistakes. And that's something we're not going to hide, hide away behind. It's something we practice on uh, the field. We've reviewed and things this morning, and we are quite clear with how we need to improve and improve quickly. Tuesday night, you're at the Knoll against the four clubs. Yeah. That's an interesting challenge in itself. And then Thursday, it's Saracens in London, so it's a busy week. Yeah, it's a real busy week. It's been a busy sort of, uh, uh, well, including Saracen, uh, including Worcester, but no, um, it'd be an interesting challenge on Tuesday. It'd be great to see how, how younger guys really react to having four sort of premiership teams thrown at you. It'll all pose different challenges, but I think it's something that'll hold them in good stead. It'll be a good experience for them. Some of them are coming back off 20s campaigns, but we've still got some reason, um, some senior guys in around Isaiah, the Dabs International, you've got Ben John, Ross Jones, Sam Davis is playing, Martin Roberts, so we feel 
behind. We've still got some senior guys. We've got more youth up front, but that'll be a real good challenge for those guys. There's a little break then before we face Treviso, the first weekend of September. As the team starting to line up, have you got that in your head now, or is it still taking shape? Yeah, I think it's still taking shape. I think a lot of places that you can see uh, players starting to filter into those positions, but we feel like you look in round of nines, that kind of thing. There, there, there is competition for places in round the centres. Um, so yeah, wing, wings, berth, so yeah, there is a bit of competition and I think we will have a few hair dicks in round Treviso, but I think that's only a positive for us going forward, on, off which is the back of, we feel it's been a real good pre-season for us so far, we've learnt a lot about the younger guys, we've seen real development along the way, um, so yeah, I think it'll be a difficult team to pick against Treviso. Jeff, yeah, just putting result in Worcester on Friday night. Um, you've had a chance to look back at it now. What's the view in the camp? Uh, yeah, we good, had a good backs review and full team review today, and went over some of the things that you know might have went wrong or things we can fix for the next game. And really, what it came down to is just a few little mistakes and nothing that we're dwelling too much on. Just looking forward to the next game. Talk about dwelling on things. It is pre-season. It is a time for trying things out, and I think results sometimes come secondary to what you gain in the long run. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, sometimes you got to have a couple of mistakes going into games so that, you know, you can fix them for the next one. So there's a few things that we really keyed in on for the, our next game that came out of that Worcester game, and I think they're going to help us going into the Saracens game. A phrase that Tandy's been using is building blocks, and that's really what it is. Friday was the first building block, Tuesday Neath is another building block, Saracens on Thursday, all to make sure that everything's ready for when we play Treviso, the first home game of the season. Yeah, I mean, realistically, guys have been at it for nine, ten weeks now, and Everything that started from pre-seasons led up to that first game and you're not going to have everything right and you got to go through those kind of ups and downs in order to get things right for ultimately the Treviso game. So, you know, we've got Worcester in the past and uh, looking forward to the big game against Saracens, big event in London and all that should hopefully build up towards a season start. And you yourself, you had a big season and your debut with the Ospreys, finished joint top scorer into the Pro 12 Dream Team. What next for Jeff Hassler and the Ospreys? Uh, I guess just look to build on that. Um, people always talk about kind of the second season lump and you know teams will start to recognize your tendencies and trends and stuff so hopefully just try to bring a different element to my game and continue to play the way I did last year. And you fully charged after a summer holiday that saw you cruising around the, the Dalmatian coast I understand. Uh, yeah it was a really good summer uh, after the Canadian tour and you know I really enjoyed myself so no, back, back to work and uh, looking forward to the next season. Investing in a yacht? <laughs> we could be, could be buying one. <laughs> That's all for now. Don't forget the Pro 12 season kicks off on Friday the 5th of September at the Liberty Stadium when the Ospreys face Benetton Treviso. Season memberships are on sale now from the Liberty Stadium ticket office online at ospreysrugby.com slash buy tickets or via the ticket hotline on 0844 815 665.